So I already played, I recorded, I had this feeling at GDQ. I've never recorded anything at GDQ. This is my first GDQ where I ever recorded anything. And I was like, I, you know, I think I'm gonna be playing really well. And uh, Jabum and I were actually giving the controller back and forth between each other, going for the world record. I'm gonna try my best. If I don't split perfectly, it's okay. That is close enough. That is close. I'm a mod, so I get to retime it. So it's all good. All right. So now the run's going. We're good. Oh yes. Okay. So I get. I like it because I really get to catch up with you guys too. I should speed run Super Rift Rose and Nest GDQ. I could maybe submit that. Why not? Right. 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 Not. Hey man, Rift Rose is pretty dope. Okay, so ultimately right there, there is a big time save to be had already. Um, so you can actually clip in the pipe at the beginning of this world and save like 20 seconds. But we weren't we weren't grinding for that just yet, right? We weren't grinding for that just yet. So we'll see. You know, that, that is definitely a big time save on, on its way. Uh, I'll most likely be going to SGDQ. I stayed the whole week, yeah. I was at, I was at GDQ the whole week. It was so fun, man. It was so fun, guys. We could definitely touch base on a lot of that stuff uh, as the run's going here. So the world record for this run was actually a 104.55, and I beat that. My PB before that was a 105.42. I actually got a 105.22 during our races, but I wasn't recording. And that let me know right there that I could at least PB, so I wanted to, uh, I wanted to record. So that was, man, all that was just so crazy exciting. Yo, big... Big beefy bullet dodger, what's going on? How you guys doing today? Uh, yes. Frig yeah, so this, this is the world record video, um, but I have not recorded it for submissions yet, so we're watching it right now, kinda, kinda doing some kind, like a little bit of commentary over top of it. So that should be pretty cool. So the interesting thing about the co-op 100% world record that we got was that we didn't know that like three days prior to that, Calco and some other guy already previously beat what was already the world record and we actually ended up beating that record without even knowing. Yo, I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm just doing a recap of my... Uh, world record that I recorded while I was at GDQ. I haven't had a chance to come home and upload it and uh, re-record it with uh, actual commentary. The video itself is just the feed and the timer, no talk and no nothing. So it's good that I uh, come back here, re-record it, and kind of get it on the go. So I'm very excited for that. Uh, well, I, I kind of messed up there a little bit. You don't want to fall right there, right? You want to fall much earlier, but I kind of... I don't know what I was thinking... And I didn't get the first door or the first stair clip there. So already, I think there's like 20 seconds time save to be in World 1. Uh, sadly, one of the time saves in World 1 is, uh, you know, a 7-7 seven, seven clip. And we all know what the 7-7 seven, seven clip is. So, uh, you know, when people start grinding for that, then then things will, will change. Yes, this is a world record video right now that we need to upload. No one's seen it. It hasn't happened yet. Yo, Aerobam, what's up, man? What's up, dude? Nice world record, thanks. No one has seen this world record either. This is the first time it's been live. So what's the plan now that you got 100% record? I'm sure you've been asked a lot, but I'm curious. I I wanted to talk to a lot of you guys about it. I hope, we, I hope a lot of people turn out today because I wanted to ask a lot of you guys what you thought um, would be interesting to watch. I kind of want to go back to 100%, right? I didn't do 100% huge justice. I only beat I only beat the time by like what? I only beat the 100% time by what? Like 5 seconds. Am I going to play new Super Mario Bros U Deluxe? Uh I've seen a lot of people play that already uh and I was going to ask your guys thoughts on that as well. Yo, Kerbo, it was so awesome meeting you, dude. How can I beat RNG? I can beat my world one, two, and three times, no problem. And I can also um, get a better world seven and a way better world six. World six was bad in the world in the world record for 100%. So that should be pretty exciting. 
All right, so normally this level looks hard, but it's not over. It's not that hard. Uh, there's a lot of full big jumps, and anytime there's a full big jump in any level in Mario, even in any Mario game, it's the easiest jump in the game, right? You just hold A the whole time until you land. Boom, done. Not so bad. Yo, thank you, Frog Stomper. Thank you so much. Um, so this might be my next time save. I don't know how many clips I got here. I'm not sure. There, there is a clip at the at, at the uh, at the end of this little fortress. He skipped like a water section. I can't remember. I think I got it like third try, maybe second. Uh, I wouldn't learn vanilla Super Mario World, no. But I'm thinking about possibly making a return to Super Dram World. I did actually just buy um, a state saver for Super Nintendo. Oh, there we go. That was like six tries or whatever. So, this World 1 of the World Record is not overly, like, not crazy good. You can get clip first try, but like I said, there's still that clip at the... Ooh, Bowser head jump. Yeah. That actually saves like one or two frames. Dude, I had a great time at GDQ. You guys should all, anyone who gets a chance, you should all go to GDQs, man. They're so much fun. All right, so. Getting a sub six minute world one is like pretty ideal. You'll get like a 540 if you get the clip in one one, but we don't go for that. There we go. Right on. Yo, GDQ is really fun. I'm sorry you didn't have a lot of time to hang out, Guptina. <clears throat> Yo, so much skill in the clips. He loved it. Reignited his... Cool! That's so cool. Yeah, get that passion going. I'm, uh, I'm showing a video right now of uh, this SMB3 mix world record, actually. And uh, as it looks so far, 2-1 has gone pretty well. I don't remember everything in this run. I recorded it like six days ago. Haven't had a chance to re-upload it or upload it with face cam splits, which is what I'm doing now. This is pre-recorded. I know this is the world record because I did have a timer, just not splits. And we're officializing it right now as we watch it. Kerbo has the softest beard. Yes, that is exactly it. You'd, I'd never... I've, I'm pretty sure I've seen what you look like, Asmir. Alright, so... This is the first annoying level, I'd say, in the run. Uh, this level's very annoying, because uh, there's what you call Patooies. And Patooies in Super Mario Bros. 3 are the guys that shoot the little black balls up in the air. Now, those work on a global timer, so the timer of when they shoot is decided as soon as I start the level and whenever I spawn them. Whenever I spawn them, however many frames it took me from when I started the level. So, all that conveyor belt stuff, if I took too much time, I'd be fucked, man. I'd be fucked, so. This is... This is probably the first most annoying level in the run, I'd say. Definitely. Alright, let's turn it up a little bit. I totally thought I hit the, uh, the flagpole there. I didn't. I didn't hit the flagpole. Alright, so, that... Oh, I didn't get that task P speed, man. I was so good at that. I, I didn't even expect to get, uh, mess that up. Um, so, so far, every single Hammer Brother has moved out of my way. And now, the Hammer Brothers aren't as hard in this game to, uh, you know, move around and, and jank around. Um, like, for instance, in World 3, there's one Hammer Brother, and, uh, he doesn't even move. So, oh no, right? So, there's not much RNG. The RNG for the Hammer Brothers in this game are already strange altogether. They're not even that bad. So. Luckily, luckily, uh... So far, I've been able to avoid all of them. I actually did that intentional because for some reason, when you do this last section really, really fast, the Birdo takes forever to shoot an egg. So I was talking with Jabum and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do this level, this end section normal, and then I'm going to stop at the brick at the end. And it actually worked because the Birdo was shooting eggs really fast. And if you, if any of you remember this level from GDQ, you'll know exactly how I feel about this level. Um, so let's go ahead and spend, oh, wait, got it second try. Finally. Took me over a minute to get that in the stupid race. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was insane. Yo, Dizzy Bomber, what's going on? Thank you. You can sub on the iPhone app, probably. Probably just need a link. Um, so out of the four Hammer Brothers in World 1 and 2 in this run, I need at least one of them, because I do need a star for the, uh, Sphinx Bro fight in World 5. Um, so this last Shy guy is the last star I can get for a little while. 
So I kind of want to fight him. So if he moves out of my way, it's like, shucks, what a waste of good RNG, right? My 100% is verified. Actually, I was delegating a bunch of stuff while at GDQ, and I did manage to get myself to be a moderator on the speedruns.com leaderboard, uh, which is awesome because today I had already verified two runs. I watched a 100% run today at 1 hour and 27 minutes, watched the whole thing, made sure it was legit, edited it, made sure it was all good, retimed it, and I watched a any percent no wrong warp Japanese version, uh, which again, I edited it and retimed it, so it turned out great. Turned out great. So now uh, when things happen, if anyone has any issues, you can just come right to my stream. I'll know about it. And then if you need verification, I'll be on it. Yeah. Yeah, it's been fantastic, man. This level is kind of annoying. I forgot for some reason. My brain was like, oh, you're doing this level so well. Let's just go. But I need Fire Flower. Yeah, so this is, um, it's kind of fun. You have to, like, so once, because I already jumped there, the one had already spawned, right? So if you miss, mess up your movement in this, it's actually a really big time loss. Yeah, well, you see, I did have a big advantage over, uh, Gadian and... Uh, jab them with the fact that I had done I had previously already done so many GDQ runs and like high pressure performances while playing Mario 3 so that was a little bit of a one-up but um, yeah I still clutched it back GDQ run I meant to duck there I checked the input man clip it clip it guys Need the fire flower back. So now we're going to do some boss manipulation here. We're going to bounce on that. Make sure it's going to blow up as he throws another one. And that's as fast as you. Because if he got hit before he threw it, he would have thrown it after the hit animation. Would have taken more time. And then get the damage boost and get the double hit. Yo, thank you, Slicks McGee. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate that. Yeah. So I tried to do some P-Speed manipulation there, which I figured out a little while back where you can get P-Speed throughout this whole section. Sadly, I did not get it. I wanted to, but my life. Ooh, I almost died there. And I, I was able to at least keep P-Speed. Um, you have birthday in two days? I'm jealous, man. I've had, I, last birthday I had was like three years ago. Um, yeah, so. I mean, obviously I'm doing better than my 105.42, at least record. <laughs> Definitely press down. Yo, thank you, yes. What do you guys think about this boss fight? <laughs> I actually almost took damage there. Yo, Lamp, good evening. How are you doing today? This is a long boss. I've actually glitched my way up, up here, and like went inside this area, but he doesn't have a hitbox, so I can't actually hit him. I had to jump off the top of a shy guy and duck jump and clip. It wasn't easy. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it wasn't easy. All right, let's see what this World 2 time is. I'm very excited. Nice. So, <laughs> here's the thing, when I was at GDQ, um, my run was on Tuesday. Lamp with the Twitch Prime, thank you so much. Uh, my run was on a Tuesday, and, um... Did I get the water? Did I get the water skip here? No. Okay, put that at the bottom so my things can actually pop up on screen. Sorry, I had to fix something. Yeah, so my run was on a Tuesday, and um, I felt a little unprepared, but at the same time, I was prepared. I had just got a 105.42, which was less than a minute from world record. I hadn't played in a couple days, or a couple months, sorry. Um, but when I was at GDQ for Monday, all of the end of Sunday, all of Monday, and the early days of Tuesday, like, I just played this game, and I ended up getting so good at it. I didn't realize that that was going to be possible. I was worried about the race, but at the same time, I don't know. 
I wanted all of us to do really well, and I think we did. I think we did. Damage boost. Oh, and I missed that. Uh, yeah, like, I already know, I already know I can make up a lot of clean, um, I can clean up a lot of things here, but with this being the world record, I did, in fact, get some tricks that are pretty difficult in this and that you'll, you'll see later on in the run. I, I got, like, a good 40 second time save from a trick that's, like, single frame, you get one chance to do it. It's like, it's like door three, but instead of it saving five seconds or four seconds, it saves 40 seconds. So we'll see. We'll see that when that happens. Um, this run has a slight sloppy beginning because I know that I'm just trying to. I was just trying to get a PB or a better time. I wasn't expecting to get the world record, and uh, it just happened. Live Mitch re-recorded run. Yes. Uh, this is not a recap of the race. Uh, I did recordings of runs while I was at GDQ, and I ended up getting the world record while I was there. So I am. Uh, re-recording it with splits uh, so I can upload it and get it verified. I don't want to verify some shitty video with no talking or anything. Because when I recorded at GDQ, it was just it was just the splits and the video and that was it, right? So it turns out that the clip in this level is actually not really even worth going for anymore. Oh, yo, Frank with the Prime six months in a row. Woo! Welcome back, dude. Yes, fastball, I'm back. Uh, yo, chat, I have Amazon account, and I- Oh, and there's this cool trick here, which I think you guys have already seen. You saw it in the run. Uh, anyone know how I link that account? I think you go to Amazon, and there's a spot in Amazon Prime on the website for you to link your Twitch account in. And then you can, uh, click on the arrow of my channel. Yeah, there you go. This is a re-recorded Mitch in a live run, yes, the complete backass. Anyway, so there's a clip in that level. Getting the clip first try only saves about Welcome seven back. to eight seconds. Hope Hacktic was fun. <laughs> My bot didn't say AGDQ, it said Acta. It was very fun, man. I got to see a lot of people I encourage. Dude, I encourage all of you guys to freaking go. It's so much fun and, and everyone got a chance to meet and that's just so much fun. <clears throat> Although, I did lose my voice the second day in, and I, it still hasn't recovered yet because I have had to do a lot of talking, a lot of, uh, you know, working things and uh, doing all that stuff. Um, but yeah, it's not so bad. I actually also have, uh, remind me guys, I have two loot crates that I need to give away. Oh my gosh, this... I lost a lot of time here. Oh my god, that was easily a 15 second time loss. Lots of time to save in that level. Remember that, guys. And maybe after we watch this run, you guys can let me know. Do you guys want to see me grind this this game more? Do you guys how, do you guys like this game a lot? Yeah, I didn't reset because I knew I was ahead of time. Yo, Scott, thank you so much for the five gift subs, man. Thank you. <laughs> I gotta stop slacking, right, Scott? Thank you so much. Yo, thank you, Handy Andy. Thank you for welcoming me back. I'm so glad to be back, and I'm very excited to re-record these world record runs, man. It's very cool. Yo, congratulations, gifties, on your new sub to my channel. Yeah, I'm so on the fence about streaming the early hammer manipulation. I'm scared because I think a lot of people don't actually understand how uh, boring that turns into. Like resetting when I get to world two all day, as opposed to 100%. I'm in a different world every three minutes. 100%, I'm in there all the time. I think it, early hammer manipulation is not going to be as entertaining, but we'll see. We'll see. Big. Kolbowski, yo, with the Twitch Prime, man, thanks, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> yeah, so there's this really cool trick here. If you freeze it, you get instant hits. Boom, see you later. What a joke. And that was, that trick was not discovered right away. That took a while for us to kind of like push, push into it. So it was really, it's really cool to see that. Guptina with the 200 bits, thank you. This game's hilarious, I like it. 
Early hammer. Yes, early hammer does mean more mini games. I. You're so right. <laughs> oh. Dang it, I forgot the split. So, I really clean up my run about this this area. I really start to clean up my uh, my movement here. <laughs> Thank you, MFP bot. It's about time. All right, slacking. Yes, when you freeze enemies in this game, for some reason, they have a solid but not solid hitbox. Very strange. We had an idea of freezing a shell in front of this pipe coming up here and then clipping through it just by having the shell there, but it doesn't actually work. But you can freeze an enemy and still stand on it. I don't get it. Very interesting. I think that was my... <clears throat> so far, that's obviously my first mistake in this world. Not, not too bad, not too bad. Yo, Misadventure. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you guys had um, a good past week without me. I'm so I'm so sorry I left you guys for a week, but I'm back now. We're gonna get back. We're gonna get back to the grind. We are still gonna do some hundred uh, percent. It'll be very interesting because I only beat the world record by what five seconds. So I think we can uh, bring it home. There is still loot crates. Loot crates are the only thing I have right now for merch. Big in my big box and big, big. Uh, I'm not sure if there's an SMB3 mix command. I'm, I'm sure there is. I'm sure my mo my mods made a, a command for SMB3 mix. Uh, yeah, SMB3 mix is pretty much just a ROM hack. That's just insane. It's just got a combination of a whole bunch of Mario games all put together. Just uh, sit back, relax, watch the video, and let it do the answering for you. You want a lewd crate. So this level sucks. I hate this level the most. I think I took it slow. There's a skip that I can do to like skip like a, a cycle without having to wait for like the checkpoint. But I don't think I wanted to risk it. So I duck jump here so I don't get stuck. <sighs> Ooh, man, I almost didn't make that. Ugh. God, I hate this level. Yes, the creator, yes, Captain Southbird was in chat and he did donate. I'm pretty sure it was pretty cool. You want to take damage there. That is an intentional damage because the next level there is a clip. There's a ceiling clip that you do that's very easy. Very easy. Thank you. Thank you, RTS Lighting. I was going to do it, but you guys, are, you guys are too fast. So here, yeah, you want to be, you want to be small Toad here, small Mario, whoever, whatever character you pick, um, because you skip a whole pipe transition, two pipe transitions actually, um, and this like little piece speeding running area. It's probably like a 10 second time save. Now, let's see. I'm pretty sure I got a first try. Boom. Yeah. So you go right through there. End of the level. There is actually, in fact, RNG bullet bills that can kill you there. So it sucks. Yo, Noise Marine, what's going on? How are you doing? I miss all you frigs. <laughs> the usual stream viewing habits, yeah. Alright, so this level wasn't too bad. Yeah, so I, I definitely... I, you have to remember, like, while I'm recording this, I got, like, crowds of people all around me on, like, TVs. Everyone's having fun. I got, like... A couple people sitting beside me, I got people behind me, everyone's, we're all talking and stuff like that. And then, uh, as my run started to get really good, more and more people started to pile up around me, and... So, it's, uh, very far from peaceful and quiet here. <laughs> Peppermint Toad. Uh, I forgot about that. Yeah, it's very far from, like, super peaceful here. So there's gonna be a glitch here where if you jump off Yoshi and cancel his licking animation, which I'm not gonna do, because I took a death there. I, I didn't mean to die, but I die again to skip them. Yep. So that's the interesting thing about these Hammer Brothers. They still move away from you. Boom. I skipped them. I don't need to fight them. But that's a big problem. 
and I forgot the mushroom because I was so flustered. I didn't know- I didn't know what happened. I was like, oh my god, I skipped them, right? Jabum's talking to me right now, right beside me. Jabum's literally sitting right beside me saying, Mitch, you don't have the extra leaf for the fly, fly skip in World 6. So I'm, I'm- I'm still all flustered in the middle of my run trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing until I finally got it together and I was like, okay, okay, and then I figured out what I could do and I'm fine at this point. So I was like really messing around for the- <laughs> For the first 10 seconds of this fortress, because that's the first time I'd ever skipped that Hammer Brother. And that Hammer Brother has the, uh, the leaf that I need, so... But luckily, I figured out a solution, and, uh, it, sh it should be alright. You guys will see. You saw Old School Lag for the first time in this run? Pfft. You gotta come by Mario 3 land sometime. And not land, just Mario 3 in general. It was really cool. Wait, you got my vote. I want to see this game run. Also, question, were you a little nervous jittery? When No, no. During this run, no, I didn't get nervous whenever people came up to, like, watch the run as it was unfolding. Uh, I'm pretty used to that stuff. And uh, I'm not looking around at all. So, when I was finished, I saw that there was a crowd of people watching. There was, like, look, some people over there and, you know, some people over there. Not, not like, a bunch of people. But there were people there. And uh, it wasn't too bad. Alright, so, the end of this world. This world would have to have an automatic time save, because I skipped the Hammer Brother, right? Of course. Yo, Rage, what's going on? Ah, I still kept P-Speed, yes. There's so many things that, that I do during these runs that just... You can clearly see playing Mario 3 has helped me out. Like, some of these single frames to keep P-Speed is just not normal for the average runner. Um... But that stuff just takes practice. 8 bit! What up? 38 months in a row, dude. Okay, so that's. Annihilated that boss. Nice. 1 minute and 11 seconds ahead. So obviously, my practice on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday has paid off. Because clearly, you can see I'm starting to do really well. I think this level finally worked out in my run. Yes. This level never works out whenever I do it ever. Ever. Yes, finally. This level has big and big and small time saves, whether or not you like do certain tricks here or there, and thank god it friggin' frig. E-Rock with the thousand. Here's that first star that I was talking about that I needed from World 2. Or else I would just skip as many Hammer Brothers as I could. Right on. Uh, this level is another level in this world that's kind of like make or break. Very easy to make mistakes. Cost you a lot of time if you make mistakes. Um, aside from that, it um, you want to do it really fast. Kind of like how I did it, although I took damage, grabbed power up, I lose a little bit of time. And Toad, he's like, uh, you look so stupid. And then I started picking two, and that takes long. Big mess ups. Not really, though. And I didn't get that. <sighs> so it just goes to show that there's so much so much left to do in this uh, in this game. The dig animation is so funny. He's like, he's like uh, uh, and it's like, you can like see his chin. So silly. He looks so dumb. Ah! There's a new clip there. I don't know if it's new. I had never seen anyone do it, but I did it and then we timed it. Jabum and I did a lot of side-by-sides. Um, and it actually turned out to be faster if you get that clip. It's faster by, like, two seconds, I think, we did it by. Still want the any percent wrong warp? Nobody wants that. That's category stupid. Come on, Sand. Yeah, man, when speedruns start getting longer and longer and longer, there's just always little mistakes here. Even the easiest run to get as fast as possible, which which is not easiest, but because it's so short, it kind of is, is Mario 1, and that's still not perfect, right? Think about Mario 1 and how it's still not perfect. So this level's cool, when I was at GDQ, I actually developed a wall jump right near the end of it, which would actually skip the vine and stuff like that. I don't know if anyone knew about it, no one no one told me about it, I just started doing it right here. 
Boom. I got the clip, not the jump, though. And I would have already been in the door and gone by now if I got the wall jump. Um, but uh, maybe, maybe people have found it but never said anything, which is why, in my opinion, you should always speak up for any strat, even if it makes you dumb, even if, you know, it's already been done before. Always... Always tell someone, tell anyone in the community, hey, I was looking at this, is this anything? And then, you know, that way at least people can say, oh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's, we've already seen that before. Orb, that's right, we got the orb. Orb. Yes. And the worst level in the game, other than the rendition of 7-4, of course. 7-4 is still a piece of garbage. Dude, E-Rock, thank you so much for those bits, man. Frig, yeah. I had a really good GDQ. Really good GDQ. I got to AGDQ just in time to see the SB3 mix. Really enjoyed it. Thank you, man. It was a lot of fun. <clears throat> I honestly thought I was going to lose the race because of how good Javim is. Javim's fantastic at this game. Gedeon just killed it as well. Um, I, I just think my overall experience in uh, competitive gaming just kind of gave me the, uh, the push, right? So... During the GDQ race, I knew eventually Gedeon was going to run out of steam. And when it comes to Mario 3, I don't normally run out of steam. I can go for a very long time. Um, and because of that, um, he had the lead at the beginning. I had that weird death in, in the first, in the second level. In the, in the second level, I had the, that weird death where I popped off the fish, but like I didn't, and my input was like shot. So that put me behind so much that I, I essentially just gain time on Gideon like seconds here and there after every level every level and eventually to the point he ran out of steam and made a big mistake and that's where I came back and then I didn't give I didn't give anyone any leeway to catch up after that I, I didn't give any nope as soon as I was back in the lead I didn't give it up um, and that's definitely uh, my Mario 3 coming out for sure is that <clears throat> when it comes to games like these it's the steam, man. It's the steam. You can have three players that are the exact same in skill, but everyone's going to either run out of steam or not run out of steam at the same time or not at the same time, right? So, okay. Uh, Gideon ran out of steam about halfway. Right here, right at this moment, too. This is where I surpassed him. No, I passed, I passed him here. I made the biggest gap in the Lego level, because I play that level really well. But I passed Gideon here, he got an extra uh, fight. <clears throat> I sealed my win pretty much when I got the the clip in the fortress, yeah, the ghost house. When I got the ghost house jump, uh, that sealed, that, I felt like I was going to win after that. But, I still needed to do the fly skip, which is very scary. And then once I nailed the fly skip, I was like, I was like, I'm... I'm World 7 is not going to do that much to me. There's nothing There's nothing crazy in, in World 7. Alright, let's see what our split is here. Ooh, this is looking pretty good. Oh my gosh. Wow. 6.4 seconds. Not bad, man. I'm doing pretty good. Did I get banned from next year's GDQ? No. Why would I get banned? This level messed me up every serious time I had to play it. I can do this level so well, guys. But I freaking suck. But it's okay, it's over. Yeah, okay, okay. As long as you're joking. It's all good. I forgive you. I still love you guys. No, no. We ran this game at GDQ. SMB3 Warpless. <clears throat> it would be really hard for me to accept a Mario 3 Warpless run at GDQ, to be honest with you. Because Mario 3 is so... Mario 3 Warpless is so, like, ugh. Right? Like... I'd be scared to run Mario Warpless at a GDQ, Mario 3 Warpless, get Runaway Bro all three hands like every extra hammer, brother. I'd walk away with like a 54, which would just be a nightmare. That's such a nightmarish time. You don't want any of that. But 
I was racing Haxor a bunch of times in Mario 3 Warpless, and we did come up with a... Well, I came up with a strat that if uh, you get Runaway Bro a little earlier on, there's actually uh, something else you can do to make it better. So that's uh, pretty cool. So this level right here is what gave me a giant lead um, in the actual race. This level can be extremely confusing, and it's um, it takes high priority on your ability to physically play this game. Lots of jumps, lots of memorizations, you have to enter pipes perfectly. And uh, this level has always given me a little bit of an in on them by keeping peace be it throughout the whole level. I'm pretty sure Gideon did it, did it really well as well. Yeah, it's just a... This is just one of those levels where it's just awkward. I definitely did not want to grab that vine. That's for sure. Clop SMB3 race would be fun. Um, what, like four people? Nice. You went to an NHL hockey game the other day? Nice. As long as you had fun. What is the... Well, typically what people do for Runaway Bro... Uh, the strat would be to just friggin, um, die on 3-6, cloud, get mushroom on, I don't even know. R a reset. That's, that's the strat for Runaway Bro. But this, this actually opens up the doorway to actually do a strat. You die on 3-4, switch the bridges up, then you get mushroom fire flower in 3-4, and then you're good to go. It's actually genius. <laughs> it's genius. See creature, see... Yo, Break, what's up, dude? I am back, and I am so happy to see all you guys. Alright, so. I have an extra one of these, and this actually does the battle a lot faster, but I messed it up. Yeah, I messed it up a little bit, so. Okay, okay. Really, this just wasted me time equipping the penguin suit. The penguin suit's useful for like three or four levels and then it's over. And that's it. There's nothing there's nothing special about it. And then I have a I, I always love spazzing. I'm just like freaking out all over the place whenever we're there. Yo, Brentwood. Say so you bit. I didn't say anything because you were practicing in the private practice. Ah, shoot. I added out everyone who's at GDQ to come and say hi on like the last day and stuff like that. Maybe you missed it, but Dang it, man. Next time, please. I want, I want to spend a lot of my time at GDQs meeting anyone who wants to meet me and talk to me about games and stuff. I love it when, I love it when, when new people come up to me at GDQs and they say, Mitch, I've been like speedrunning. How do I like do this? And uh, how do you, how do you do this and stuff like that? It gives a chance for me to get a little bit more personal with you guys. I'll take that chance anywhere I can get, man. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Yo, thank you. I hope I surprised a lot of you guys, because most of you never really watched me play Mario 3 Mix, because all I've been doing is 100%. Yo, JF, nice try on that run last night. <laughs> Speed run your life, can you help? Yeah, slow the fuck welcome down. Back, <laughs> Yo, Beatnik, you welcome back. Intentional damage there, because I have a waterfall strat that I do here. Uh, it's much easier to jump out of the waterfall not in penguin suit as penguin suit, which it makes no sense to me. Yeah, right here. Whoop! Right out of the water. Okay, so right here is why me having the world record is pretty legit. There's a... Uh, pretty, this is door three right here. Door three. Look at this. Boom. I jumped right at the start of the level. Then I go and... Then I, well, I have to go and grab my leaf. Because I didn't get that hammer brother, remember? So I have to get the leaf first. I got one shot at this fly skip. So essentially what I did at the beginning of this level was I did a single frame input that allowed me to jump and it took me to the end of the level. When I start, when you naturally start this level, you start upside down, you do the level all upside down. It gets you started for world seven. 
And uh, by doing that, I saved like 40 seconds. Um, and because I skipped the Hammer Brother in World 4, or sorry, yeah, World 4, I didn't have a leaf, so I had to go back and get a leaf. Normally I wouldn't, but in this case I did. And then the scariest part of the run, right here. Oh man, I almost hit that plant. I was messing this up a lot in practice before the race too. I was really scared for this strat. And Jabum was too. Jabum spent like 10 minutes on this strat. Just so like unsure of himself. I think I told him during the race. I was like, Jab, like you just gotta go for it, man. Just be confident. You got this. And then he fucking he nailed it. He nailed it. So it was good. Yeah, I fell asleep. J uh, JF, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, this is really cool. This little hill grind with P speed. Weep, weep, weep. Oh man, the much. That's much faster than like walking up the hill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Jabum died the first time going for the going for the fly skip, and then he got really discouraged. Um, so, and then his second time around, he was like constantly going left and right. It was like, oh please, like he was unsure. So, I told him, Jab, you got this, buddy. Yeah, by this time, because I did get the ghost house jump and the fly skip first try, I was I was ahead by a lot, and it's hard to, uh, really hard to catch up uh, by this point. Boop. That's a fantastic place to grab fire flower. And then this guy, no need to kill him, but, right? Why not? Why not? Yo, I was very happy to meet you too, man. I love meeting new people. Right back down on the pipe, and then we have the last section of this. We're going to avoid the crab there. We're going to do a body rub right here. Past the, the fire bro, get the hell out of there. Yes, the fire swag. So we're going to do the MFP patented strat in this level. If you grab the shell as fast as possible, you can nail the boss when he goes by one instead of waiting for him to come back. Right here, boom, done. And now, because you hit him on that side, he just attacks himself, because he sucks. It's Bowser Jr. He sucks. Normally, you'd have to wait for him to go left, right, and then left. I got him when he just went left once. Alright. Looks like we're saving a little bit of time as well. Apparently, I, I had a better world on my splits. Oh, that's right. In my 105.42, I did get Ghost House Jump. That is correct. I totally forgot about that. Beatnik is back for three months as well. And Zen's for two months. Did those notifications go off? Am I good at Mario World? Uh, I can be. But I don't, I don't play it very often. Woo! This world's good. The word to rent in Spanish, you could probably just type that in Google and get it that answer instantly. You probably could have typed it in less words in Google than in here as well. Nice, we get to do the speed kick jumps here and then build P speed and clean it up. So right now, according to these splits, I am not on world record. Actually, I am on world record pace. That's right. World record in my mind right now is a uh, 104.55 is the world record. Also, you guys are going to see, I'm pretty sure I did it in GDQ, a very unnecessary midair shell jump. No reason for it. Boom. <laughs> uh, the way I do this level, I have all the reason to do it. It's very, I should do it. It's important that I do it. I have all the reason that I need to do it, but I don't need to do the level that way. So the way I do it, I need to do the midair, but I don't need to do the level that way. Yo, oh, Karibo. Yo, Billy Furious, a whole year indeed, man. Thank you. Welcome back, you frig. Didn't Jabum tell me you set a world record in the practice? This is the world record. No one's seen it yet because I recorded it. It hasn't been posted anywhere because it's been on, on a laptop traveling. I haven't posted it anywhere. 
But now I am. I'm recording it right now with actual commentary. Uh, Midairs are the same in Mario 3 as they are in Super Mario World. However, midairs are easier with a giant shell. So, a turtle shell from like World 4 in Mario 3, where the enemies are giant, is easier to midair shell jump on. You're not playing right now, you're phony? Well, I have to record the run. I never said this is live. In my title, it says the SMB3 Mix World Record Reveal. I have to re-record it for splits and commentary. Ah, I know, I'm sorry, Obake. Someone's gotta miss it, right? <clears throat> I couldn't make everyone happy, I tried. Oh, we got the backwards tunnel. That's the best you can do that tunnel. Great big phony. Now I feel bad. Now I feel bad. Whee! This is my world record. Yes, Just I. Just by to say hi. In the middle of exams, and I need my sleeps. All right, Sander, you get some sleep, dude. We'll catch up with you later, man. <clears throat> Yes, this was it. I did this run in the practice room at GDQ. I was recording on a laptop, and uh, I got the world record, so here I am. I also got another world record that I'm going to reveal for you guys after this. I got another world record while at, at GDQ that I will reveal for you guys after this. Again, also for submissions, for commentary, and, and not so much for splits, because I don't really need... I'd have to set up splits. I'm not doing that. I'm not setting up splits. So, you guys are in luck. Double world records today. When we're done this video, boom, we get to watch another world record video. They lied about the world record during a race. They did not lie about it. I got this after the run. I got this world record on Thursday, I'm pretty sure. I got this after the on-screen race. Wee! Up, 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 up! Tricked you guys. Why do you even fall for it? Yeah, this is a recording right now. This is uh, this is I have a video player open right now, and I'm just doing splits and live commentary for it because I need that for submissions. I'm not submitting a video with no talking and no splits or right? that's just ugly. Ugh. I don't I don't want to do that. So, am I ever glad I was recording? Boy, am I ever glad I was recording. Hot dog. Oh, my jazz hands. Yes, so I have another world record after this. <clears throat> Billy Mitchell Flower. I can get world records without hands, yeah. No. Sadly, I despawned a turtle that should be in front of me right now, and he's gonna come back when I load the screen, and he's gonna lag it so much. Look at this. There he is. What a... F I lost, like, three seconds of lag right here. But it's okay. Bring. No, the world record was not in this game, no. No, I don't have a cold. I just I lost I lost my voice at GDQ, man. It sucks, dude. I have I talk I have talked so much at GDQ. That doesn't suck. Talking a lot of GDQ doesn't suck. What sucks is that my voice can't handle it. For some reason, my voice, you know, as if I don't talk every day, like, so much on stream all the time. But it just can't. I lost my... Dude, my voice was gone by Wednesday or Tuesday. Monday. I was there for one day and my voice was already fucked. Every time I set plans, though, because every time I walk somewhere, I always get stopped to talk to people. Which I don't have a problem with. That's awesome. But... Very time consuming, I had to talk to a lot of people, which I enjoy, I don't mind. I don't mind, it's just, I sound like a frig right now. Oh, anytime, anytime. It is, it is really loud there too. My voice, yeah, my voice is a little weak right now. It's still trying to heal. And I got this like four days ago, so every day after, every time my voice tried to heal, it didn't get a chance to because and it's just like, I had to keep going strong. <clears throat> but I'm trying. I hope it's not annoying any of you guys. I hope it's not bothering you guys. It shouldn't be, but... Yeah, let's see. 
right in there. Yeah, get in that pipe. All right, so here I got my boomerang suit. This world, this world seven has been really clean, man. It's been a good world seven. The Roombas. Yo, T Pain, what's up? How do you guys like my Roombas? If you were to meet Kerbo, you'd lose your voice too, right? When I first met Kerbo, uh, I was like, "Hey, you're not a robot from the World One mini game." If you guys remember. Yeah, GDQs are loud. New strat, duck jump. Ah, oh, I didn't get it. But at least I got my pathing down. <clears throat> so I'm pretty sure I can't. I can confirm that Jabum is going to go for this world record. So the competition of world records should be pretty exciting. How old is SMB3 mix? Uh, five years? Four, four years. Four years. Development started actually in like, I think 2010. The idea is almost 10 years old, um, but it's been out for... Totally not a robot, right? Uh, it's been out for five years. Yo, Lion Tamer, what's up, man? Uh, I got this world record on Thursday, I think, in the practice room at GDQ. Yeah, I mean, if Jabum takes this world record back, depending on what kind of run he gets, there should be no reason why, why I shouldn't come back. I should periodically keep running this game, though, while it's super fresh. But <clears throat> official Mario games always grab grab hold, right? Always grab hold. I'd love to dedicate a shit ton of time to ROM hacks, but man, those official games really. <laughs> Yo, thank you, man. Yes, that was a, a crazy world record to get. But I don't think I'm done with 100%. How do you guys feel about that? Are you guys are you guys sad that the 100% world record grind is over? Because if you are, I'm thinking about just bringing it back and getting a better time, right? What do you guys think? In Hundo, I know I can get a 109. I know I can save another 14 seconds. You guys don't under- like, everyone wants me to play the any percent category, but if I- Okay, so I'm gonna switch play the any percent category, and then like, everyone's gonna slowly be like, Fuck that, I don't wanna watch it anymore, and now I'm gonna be- I'll be stuck playing it because I've already wasted so much time. It is so boring, you guys. It is so boring. For me to grind the any percent category, I have to reset when I get a movement of two in World 1. I'll have to reset. I gotta press the reset button after 1-1 one, one if I get a movement of 2. Do you guys understand that? <laughs> this isn't even world 1, this is like 1-1. One, one. The world record in any percent got 3 movements of 1 and 1 movement of 2. So in order for me to beat that, I need to get a good time save. I need to get 4 movements of 1. So if I get a movement of 2, reset. If I get a movement of 1 after 1-1, one, one, and then I get a movement of two after one, two, reset. It's just luck, man. It's it's world one luck. Ooh, that was a gold for sure. All right. Any percent warpless should be the next round. Any percent warpless is coming back. We know any percent warpless is coming back, but I gotta work into it. I gotta work into it because I gotta re reevaluate the. I gotta. Oh, yo, that's right. I die here, right? And look at that. So that, I, I'd have to say that is one of the biggest mistakes in this world. However, I do bring it back and I clean it back up. I lost mm, 15 seconds here in the world record. Good thing I got that gold. No, any percent is getting two whistles, going to 7-1, and then doing the glitch, and then beating the game. It's the three minute category. I just, this is the video of the world record for the category. I got it a couple days ago. Yes, Warpless 
has the early hammer manipulation, but I have to work on the early hammer manipulation before I start streaming again. Because it's going to be weird just like working in the manipulation. Well, that worked out a lot better than I thought. Okay, yeah, no, this level turned out pretty good. Just that hiccup at the beginning. And that for no reason. I was a 100% hater, yes, but for some reason I just started to enjoy it. I don't know what happened. I don't question it though. Don't jinx it. Don't question it. Yes, I got this while I was at GDQ. So it was smart for me to take damage and not have to worry about the uh, bunny ears. Frog percent. You guys can do the frog percent. I'll leave that for you guys. Go for some of the uh, category extensions? Nah. Well, I mean, 1150 World 2 is still good. Still decent. No uh, 1144 Giga. Lucky. That's very possible, Zach. That's very possible. Yeah, I was... What do I want to do? I kind of want to continue on with 100% and on the side get ready for Warpless and other stuff. I have Twitch front page tomorrow and I still don't know exactly what I want to do on the front page. I'm considering doing SMB uh, Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe, the new one that just came out. I don't know if any of you guys have seen a lot of it. I haven't seen much of it, but I think that'd be some pretty cool front page content. When is SM64 learning? I don't know. When when the Mario 64 community lets me cut out the cutscene at the beginning of SM64, then I'll go crazy on it. Do what you wanna do. It's cute. Yeah, I guess it'd be okay. Yo, Kuiper don't care with the tier one sub. Thank you so much. And, uh, Chernika uh, with the tier two sub. Thank you so much and welcome, Chernika. I really appreciate that. You are awesome. Uh, you can't do any runs clipless in this game because if you accidentally clip, are you expected to reset, right? That's the question. Okay, so in this run right here, I, w I had the crowd. I had Jab beside me. I had uh, some SMB3 mix. I had Gideon behind me and then like a crowd around me and stuff like that. We knew that I was on world record pace right now. We knew it, as long as I didn't frig anything up. I had to, uh, it was funny, I had to uh, impro improvise here. I didn't practice any of this crap at all during, um, <laughs> during any of my practice, I never did this level. I, I do a completely different strat, I do a flying strat here. But I managed to stay in between the waterfalls here, allowing me to keep the speed, very important. And then stay on the pipe, boom. Very good level. Very good level. Yo, Gbaz, what's up? This was offline, yes, but I was recording it. This was offline at GDQ. This is the run that helped, that you helped me complete. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, my throat gets like, ugh. Sorry. I'm under control now. Not back. Was Jabim salty? God, no. Jabim's like the best person in the world, man. He's literally the best person in the world. He wants, you know, he's glad that I got it so that he has, he's got a mission now. You know what I mean? He's got something to strive for. Sounds like Sonic music. I had no splits, no. I had my fiance's laptop and we downloaded OBS and borrowed someone's capture card and we downloaded live split. And then I just started doing runs. I just started doing runs. I was like, whatevs. I can't save one minute on uh I can't save one minute on uh, 100%. <laughs> a 10914? What? Are 
Are you the- Yeah, man, are you the guy that gave me the, uh, my controller when I dropped it? Right here? I almost died off the edge. You gave the controller to me. Was the internet so bad at AGDQ that you couldn't stream? No, it's just that you shouldn't stream, right? AGDQ's got all the hotel internet, right? You don't- you don't- You don't stream, you know what I mean? While you're there, that's not- you know. Unless you got your own internet. Right? That's not really how you do things. I was so scared here! I don't know how I didn't die. Look at me and my turnbacks. Dicking around. And the internet was okay, like, via cell phone. Some sometimes Discord was like, nah. I'm not connecting to anything. But, uh, aside from that... What game... What game are you most excited to grind now that a lot of the pressure is off? I'm excited to grind 100% and any percent warpless in Mario 3, yes. I don't know if Discord's connection is always crap. I, I don't normally have a problem with Discord. It's just you have to remember there's like over a thousand people using the same internet while GDQ is also chugging that baby. Yeah, exactly, right? Yo, good night, dude. So I, I essentially was just like, I'll just record, man. I actually had permission to stream, but... Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't stream, that'd be so weird, man. Choppy internet, shitty quality, no webcam, no mic, just, just feed. This is way better, isn't it? How's the food diet when at GDQ? Horrible. Don't even ask me about it. Horrible. I've got no filter. If I feel like something, I eat it. <laughs> any percent no wrong warp? I just recently got the record in any percent no wrong warp. That was the first one I got at the three, right? So I, or no, Warpless, I got the Warpless world record, and then I got the any percent no wrong warp, and then I got the 100%. I should go back to the any percent no wrong warp, so I can do a, uh, I could save like a second in that. All the terrible food plus beer and no exercise, yeah. 100%, I want, I just want to be lower, like, if I don't get a 109 in 100%, I don't think I would even be that salty about it. I think I would just be happy that I got, um... Not only five seconds fast. I hate runs that are like only a couple seconds faster than world record. That sucks, man. That's not like a challenge that anyone who's gonna beat the world record or the previous world record at the time would have got that time or better anyways, right? Yeah. Probably, but I mean, it's not even that really that hype anymore, G-Bads. I stayed away from- I didn't have many sugary drinks. I had a lot of water, Red Bull. Well, I mean, obviously the sugary for the Red Bull, but... When I think about, the, like, all the sugary drinks, that- what I'm guilty of in the past is just a lot of soda, which... I don't really drink a lot of soda anymore, which I'm actually kind of happy about. But I do like Red Bulls, and... In moderation, Red Bulls can't be that bad, right? A little bit, but barely that bad. Oh, Lady Try, how's it going? Alright, so I don't need any- I don't need the hammer suit here. Uh, hammer- uh, boomerang suit does not work on Bowser. Uh, no... No, uh, no suits work on Bowser. You have to traditional kill Bowser. It's pop. That's right. I took damage there. I was a little scared that I was going to take damage here, but it, it turned out fine. So I started my timer a little bit earlier. So the 10403 is actually correct. A 10403 is correct. That beats the world record by 40 something seconds. So that is the world record right there. 10403. I'm just gonna submit it as a 10403. So the the those don't second. Those those uh, millies don't count. 
Is there any advantage to doing Bowser with your strat versus Jabum's strat? Uh, there's really no difference between mine and Jabum's strat for Bowser. One, I, I just make Bowser move in increments. So he jumps Congrats up, does the, the next Japanese space. Laws. Moves, jumps up, does the next space. Move, jumps up, does the next space. I think the way Jabin does it might be slower because he makes Bowser jump left and right more. I just make Bowser go one space at a time. I'm pretty sure Bowser does move in the air, but we can't fully confirm it, so we don't we don't have any idea.